Hey guys, what is going on? So today is gonna be a completely different kind of video. I kind of just thought about this and I was like, I need to do this, I'm gonna make this happen. So yeah guys, you guys read by the title, I made MagSafe work on an iPhone 8. One of the main features of the brand new iPhone 12s is that it obviously has MagSafe. So I was like, okay, well for the other iPhones that have wireless charging, all they really need is magnets. This is pretty much how I made MagSafe work on an iPhone 8. So what you guys are gonna need for this is obviously an iPhone 8 or a phone that does not have MagSafe. So in this case, I'm using an iPhone 8 and then you're gonna need really strong mag magnets. As you can see, extremely strong magnets. You're gonna need these. I also realized that AliExpress, I think, sells the mag MagSafe magnets for the actual iPhone. So you can actually pick these up, but it takes like two weeks for you to get them. So I just went with these magnets right here. And then obviously you're gonna need the MagSafe charger. And I already dented it, as you guys can see, which kind of sucks, but anyways. <laughs> All right guys, so the phone that I used right here is pretty much a gutted phone. It's not, it doesn't really have many of the pieces, as you guys can see, it doesn't have the penelope screws that go on the bottom of the phone. This is like just a tester phone, so I didn't have them for this phone. It was super easy for me to do this. I just needed a pry tool, so I just pried it out like this, popped out the screen like this, basically. And then as you guys can see, it's missing a lot. <laughs> if you opened a phone before, it's missing a lot of components. Um, there's supposed to be plates uh, near the connectors, like right around here. There's supposed to be screws right there as well, but <laughs> didn't have those. Um, first thing you wanna do is take out the battery and then take off the screen. These are just like little uh, cables that connect to the motherboard. And then there's supposed to be adhesive on the battery, but I took that out, so there's no adhesive, so it was super easy for me to remove the battery. Like a brand new iPhone, there's a lot of adhesive right there. And this is the wireless charger right here. All right, so first thing you wanna do is put the MagSafe charger under the phone so you can see where the magnets are located on the MagSafe charger so they actually click the best, or not click, but you know, so you know where the magnets are the strongest on the MagSafe charger. So I just put them down a couple and I kinda just let them, let them go where they wanna go because obviously that's where the strongest points of the MagSafe charger are. So as you can see, I put them down like that. And then you could use some adhesive, but I decided not to because I'm literally just gonna take this phone apart again. So I didn't do that, but you can if you want. And then put the battery back in where it's supposed to be. And then plug in the screen to the motherboard and then also the battery, close it up. And then obviously you're supposed to put the penelope screws back into the bottom of the phone, but obviously I didn't have those. So this is kind of just like a test. If we connect the MagSafe, the magnets are actually very strong. So it connects the MagSafe just like an original like iPhone 12, like it literally felt like it was supposed to be there. So I know it's something completely different, something that I never do on this channel, but I just thought it was very interesting and I actually made it work. So I was very hyped about that, that it actually works. And it actually works pretty well. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like it literally feels like exactly like how, like it feels like it's supposed to go there. So, but just so you guys know, probably wouldn't recommend this just because of the magnets. Feel, they're in a weird space. Um, where the battery is at and if i feel like there's too much pressure on the battery pushing on it so probably wouldn't recommend doing this to your personal iphone 8 that's just what i want to say really quick because i don't want you guys to try this i don't want you guys to break your phone when you open it or anything like that either so just wanted to let you guys i just wanted to show you guys this um please don't do this because this is a dummy phone and it's pretty much a useless phone so do not try this on on your own phone please okay <laughs> but anyways guys yeah that is the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys like this video please drop a like and subscribe we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year we're getting close to the end of the year so we kind of need to get some more subscribers if you guys enjoy this content make sure to subscribe um and yeah that's pretty much it follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in the next video peace